so. Come on, guys, I have two more days before I have to hand it in. It's good. Very true to life. Well, I gotta get to class. I'll catch you later, man. Yeah. Really, it was it was good. I don't know what I was thinking, asking him to watch that. It was great. Seriously, except the inning still sucks. I'm gonna talk to your dad. And what? Ask for my hand in marriage? No. And tell him that you want to stay here with me. I already tried that, remember? We wound up screaming at each other. Yeah, because you're too close with your dad. Me and your dad were more like buddies. Oh, really? Yeah, like when he invited me over to watch Super Bowl. You and ten other of his buddies. But we really connected. He called you a phase, Mark. He said he knew I'd be sad for a while, and then I'd get on with my life. And what did you say? There was nothing to say. You're 16. Your parents can't force you to go anywhere. Mark, we've gone over this. I'm just trying to find a way to make this work. Then why don't you come to Houston? What? You keep trying to find ways for me to stay here. What if you move instead? Me in Texas? It wouldn't work. I can't leave Captain Charles. Why not? They've got parents. Dad's got his own life. You know what Mom's like? <laughs> a light bulb burns out and she counts on me to screw it in. Then I'd say we just ran out of options. How about this? If we can convince your parents to let you stay just till the end of the school year, I can get a summer job in Houston. You do that? Sure. Average summer humidity there is 98%. So I'll bring deodorant. <laughs> We'd still be apart for last year of high school. I could convince my parents to let me fly up here for Thanksgiving. I could scrounge the money to take a bus south of Christmas. Lots of torrid emails. You could come back here and go to UBC. That's possible. Possible? It's a year and a half away. Yeah, but we're talking about how to make this work. Till when? 2050? You're the one who's always telling me not to map out my entire future. We don't have to decide everything right now. Let's wait and see how things unfold, okay? <sighs> What's that supposed to mean? Nothing exactly, just let's not make promises we're not sure we can keep. Maggie was stuck, so I told her, no problem. I just didn't know what to say. Hey, what could possibly go wrong? I mean, it's a year and a half from now. Who knows where I'll be by then? Who knows where Mark will be by then? Or who with? Oh, I really thought you knew Mark better than that by now. I'm just saying he can't know how committed he is himself. I don't believe you guys. You're still here, and instead of spending your time together, you're obsessing about 18 months from now. If you really love each other, you'll make it work. <clears throat> what are you doing here? I was chatting with your mom. She went to bed, so I came down here to wait for you. Where have you been? Walking. Look, I didn't mean to be so vague earlier. Yeah, do you know what time it is? Late. What time do you have to be home? Thought I'd stay here tonight. With you. I don't think that's such a great idea. Thought that was what you wanted. Not as a consolation prize. A consolation prize? Face it, Laurel, you know the long distance thing will never work. Is that what you think? Well, don't you? Well, I feel like an idiot. <laughs> Throwing myself at a guy who throws me right back. Guess I'm going home now. Start packing, getting ready for the future. Guess that's what I'm doing. Laurel, I'll walk you home. No, that's okay. I'm fine. <laughs>